What's up and welcome back to the channel. Mark Haynes doing stuff. Today, I wanna to discuss something. I wanna talk about pyramid schemes and multi-level marketing businesses. Um, so, a couple days ago, I posted a video talking about um, a friend of mine who uh, I was talking about how he doesn't um, appreciate me and uh, he has, he holds other people's opinions higher than mine, that type of thing. And one of the examples I gave was um, about how he got involved with a pyramid scheme because somebody whose opinion and who he trusted more than me told him to get into it. And I tried to talk him out of it, but he told me that this other person was basically smarter than me and blah 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 all that so we're going to talk about um, what pyramid schemes are first of all and how you can avoid uh, getting involved with them so basically pyramid schemes is technically illegal but there's a loophole around it these companies that do the multi-level marketing they get a product of little or no value in my friend's case, it was a uh, fruit juice that was said to have um, all kinds of healing benefits. Uh, it'll cure all these diseases and it'll make you healthy, make you live forever. All this nonsense, which is neither here nor there because the product really doesn't matter in the end of the day. The office did a little spoof of it where um, Michael Scott got involved in a pyramid scheme and it was selling or licensing to sell uh, phone cards for making long distance phone calls. And on uh, the King of Queens, they had an episode where Doug got involved with a pyramid scheme and it was selling water filters. But the product really is irrelevant. Basically, what they do is you get involved with the business and then what you're trying to do is you're trying to get other people involved in that business so in my friend's case he had to buy this he had to buy hundreds of dollars worth of juice of this fruit juice every every month and now he wasn't selling the fruit juice that would be something completely different if he was a salesman for the juice and he was making commission on everything that he sold but he wasn't selling the juice he was selling the opportunity to be involved with this business see so you spend money every month to buy this juice for yourself and then you get other people and they have to also spend the money to buy the juice for themselves so basically how it works is somebody comes up with an idea they're at the top of this pyramid they they, they have a worthless product or whatever they get two people underneath them each of those people buys the product pays in to be in the business and then that money filters up to the first person. So those two people, they each get two people underneath them. And then those people are buying the product every month. And then the money, get, every person gets a kickback. So in my friend's case, he's probably at the very bottom of this pyramid. The top is way up here. So he's paying hundreds of dollars every month. That money, a little bit goes to the person above him. A little bit more goes to the person above him. A little bit more goes to that person, you see. So the whole money gets funneled all the way to the top of the pyramid. So the only people who are really making money is towards the very top of that pyramid. And the problem is you have no way of knowing where you're at on that pyramid. You don't know how close you are to the top. But, I mean, unless you really are the person who started the pyramid scheme or you know the person who started the pyramid scheme, you're at the bottom of that pyramid. So even if you sign up people underneath you, you're getting pennies on their hundreds of dollars that they're spending into the business every month. The people who are making all the money is the people at the very top of the pyramid, but they could be you know, hundreds of levels of the pyramid away from you when you're all the way at the bottom. And that was the case with uh, my friend. He was paying hundreds of dollars every month. He got a whole bunch of people involved with this and 
they were also paying hundreds every month. He might have made, you know, two cents on their hundreds of dollars, and the money was all trickling to the very top. So the people at the top get super rich. The people at the bottom lose all their money in the business, and it's a, it's a huge scam. How they get you, though, they find vulnerable people, okay? So um, maybe somebody who's having a rough time, uh, somebody just out of college, uh, they prey on people like that. Uh, maybe somebody who's, um, you know, unemployed, things like that. And they sell you with this, this idea of, um, they sell you on, you know, financial freedom. And uh, they'll, they'll show you videos of people driving Ferraris and, you know, waving cash. That's a, that's a huge red flag, first of all. If you go to a business meeting where someone's trying to recruit you into this pyramid scheme and you watch a video of people, you know, flying in private jets and uh, flashing wads of cash at the camera, driving fancy cars, and they talk to you about financial freedom before they even say anything about what the company is about, um, that's a huge red flag because, you know, I've worked a lot of jobs in my life I've never been to a job interview where, you know, they started talking to me about the money instead of um, the job duties and what it entails. And you don't even understand what this thing is. And you just get like this, this high from watching all these people with money and you get excited thinking, well, if it can happen to these people, it can happen to me. But that, that whole video is, uh, is fake that they're showing you and the product is is not good and it's meaningless it's worthless product so be very cautious about that um, what these products also do is they have these uh, meetings like they'll pick a place like you know Florida or something and they'll have everyone involved in the business they'll have like a kind of a pep rally meeting to try to get new people to join and try to get you fired up to uh, get more people into the business so uh, with my buddy's case he would fly down to Florida and go to these uh, conventions for the, um, the juice business and they would bring people up on stage talking about um, all these people are new millionaires and who knows if they really are they could be paid actors or whatever but these people are new millionaires from this from selling the, the rights to this business they, they made all this money on this business so people go up on stage and it's almost like a religious experience you know everybody's fired up cheering um, these people are talking about how they're financially free now they're successful because they they uh, did this this pyramid and they you know they made all this money they don't have to work again they get to just sit around all day in their pajamas and you know, they, they, it's really enticing for um, a gullible person. They tell you, you know, one day you're going to own your own private island uh, out in the ocean somewhere, and you're going to have a private jet. They, they make you believe all this stuff, and they're really convincing, I'm sure. It's just like, um, you know, joining a cult, how a cult leader can trick you into um, believing these certain things and make you drink Kool-Aid and kill yourself. You And uh, a normal person would think, well... You know, how could somebody be so brainwashed? But, it, I mean, they do it little by little. They chip away at you until you actually believe this. So be very cautious of this stuff because it's out there. It can get you. They have, they give you a response for every, um, every rebuttal that a naysayer for the business would say. So, like, they have these um, different lines that they tell you and they convince you of this. So what my friend would say to me was, he would say, well, if this is a pyramid scheme, then so is Walmart, because Walmart has a CEO, and then they have people under him, and then they have store managers, and then all the way down to a cashier. So that's a pyramid scheme, too. But then I would try to tell my friend, no, it's not a pyramid scheme, because Walmart pays their cashiers to work there. That's how the job works. You get paid to work there. The cashiers at Walmart, they don't have to pay Walmart to be cashiers. They don't have to pay to work there. They don't have to find other cashiers to work there. 
to sign up underneath them. So it's completely different. It's a job that you give them your time and they give you a paycheck, not a job where you spend all your time pissing off all your friends and family trying to get them to join the business and then you tell them that they don't know what they're they're talking about if they won't join this business that they have no direction in their life basically that sort of thing so be very cautious of um these these pyramid schemes these businesses like that because you know i know people like my friend who lost a lot of money in this business and um be very cautious of these type of things because somebody that you know and may trust could have gotten suckered into this deal. And you trust this person. You think there's no way that they could lead me astray. And that uh, I think I really think this is going to work because they are very convincing. They will really try to convince you that this business will work. But, you know, if you look at the business model, there's no way it's actually going to work. There's not enough people on earth that you could sign up underneath you that you could actually make money because you're at the very bottom of this pyramid so be very cautious of this you know um people who you might have went to high school with and they'll tell you hey i joined a business i got a great opportunity for you just be very cautious of any any business where you have to pay money to be involved in the business where you have to buy something to to be a part of it i just want to um caution people not to get involved with this sort of thing so um hopefully that helps you know so that um anybody that clears up some questions i know people were asking me about it um because i had mentioned it they were asking me like what what is a pyramid scheme how can i not get involved in that so hopefully this helps you to avoid making the mistakes that a lot of people have made and if you have made the mistake before you know um, don't beat yourself up over it. A lot of people have fallen for these type of scams before. So, um, but just listen to me. Um, I know I'm not the expert on a lot of things, but this, I do know pyramid schemes do not work. So stay away from all that stuff. But, uh, so for now, Mark Haynes doing stuff, signing out. Thanks for, for being here. Make sure you like, and subscribe to the channel.